Hi, this is just Lori from paperthreads.com. This is the little rose that I'm going to show you how to make. Here's the template. During the customer appreciation day, it will be free. And there may be other things that I'm doing for free, but this one will be free. All you do is you insert a tool. This is a quilling tool. It just inserts into the end and then you just very carefully roll it up and when you're done you come in tight there you gently pull the tool out flip this back a little bit and then you kind of let it sit for a bit and then you let it go and there we have the rose isn't that easy now, to make sure that it stays a while, I'm going to add a goodly amount of glue down here in this area here. You can see. And then I'm just going to just glop that right into there. Now, if I had, and then I'm going to hold it all in place for just a little while. If I had um, a hot glue gun right handy, I could use that too. Okay, the rose is dry, so now I'm going to show you how to actually paint it in this color using the airbrush. I'm really interested in getting the edges really strong so that the outside of the petals is a little bit darker. Now, if I wanted this, this is good the way it is. I'm happy with this. However, the bottom is all still the original color. If I want to go back and actually make the bottom pink, This is just Lori from paperthreads.com and I hope you've enjoyed watching how to paint this little rose using an airbrush.